Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 139 of Bird Squawk. There was the clunker, folks. There it was. Lots to talk about today now that uh, birds finally drop a game to the Washington Commanders. We all knew that type of game was coming, just wasn't expecting it to be on Monday night. But, geez, it, feel, it feels like everything's falling apart. I mean, I'm not overreacting, but there's a lot going on with this team right now. Just after one loss, uh, lots going on. we got to talk about the defense, talk about the offense, talk about the injuries all of a sudden, and kind of talk about where the road goes from here. Not that I've lost confidence in this team, but it's definitely like a little, like, I don't know. It's I think it's just the way they lost. I mean, it's been a couple days now since the game. It still sucks. I'm kind of moved on from it. I think a lot of people are stuck on certain narratives. We'll have to see how they bounce back on Sunday against the Colts. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's just get into it. 32, uh, 21, not that it really mattered with the points at the end. But yeah, I mean, it. they started off great. I mean, you, you got the turnover, you scored right away, and you thought, all right, here we go. They're going to flex their muscles and kind of... Uh, like beat up on a team that they should be beat up on, even though it's a division game, whatever. But the fears of the rushing defense kind of came to fruition. That I they did. It's not that they got gashed, but we're giving up too much at a clip, and we're giving them third and manageable, and they were converting. That was the thing. Yeah, I mean, it's been a couple of days this summer. Um, it's been a while since we walked out of the link, kind of in that mood of depression, you know? <laughs> yeah. And shock. I mean. We felt like, and we talked about it for weeks, so we, we had a clunker coming. I didn't see this one coming. Yeah. I, I figured it'd be on the road. I figured it was going to be Tennessee maybe at home. You know, but, you know, it, the whole vibe that night down at the stadium kind of felt a little weird early on. I mean, it felt like a preseason game early on. It was a late arriving crowd. We were sitting there going like nobody's here. And it kind of just felt like, yeah, this is just a, it's going to be a walk in the park. I mean, but once the crowd got there, the place started getting electric. And, and of course, we came out with a bang, man. Yeah, got that I ball mean, right away, exactly. scored. And you're thinking, all right, here we go. Yeah. But then Washington put that first drive together, and it was like, okay, all right, we might have a little bit of a game here. Yeah. I mean, but I, yeah. at the end of the day, okay, this team was 8-0 last week, right? Yeah. There's a few things we got to clean up. We knew we had to clean some stuff up. We had to, we have to stay healthy. Yeah. All in all, I still feel like we lost that game. Yeah. We didn't win the game. No, I agree. We lost the game. We had opportunities that we left out there. Like Jalen's always talked about, we have money on the table. Well, leaving that money on the table finally caught up with us. Yeah, I mean, I... I don't know. Like, yeah, there's stuff obviously to clean up, but I mean, there's stuff that it's like, can they? I mean, the injuries, I mean, Avante Maddox, I mean, we'll get into the injuries. We can talk about them all. I mean, Avante Maddox, uh, it's going to be interesting. I think that's kind of one of the reasons why the defense looked a little different. I think they played more zone than they have all year, but not that Slay and Bradbury technically really had good games. I mean, even when they played man, uh, the back end didn't play great, but I think some of those big third down conversions when they had them third and long, they played zone, not trusting J uh, Josiah Scott. Um, they kind of are trying to figure out that slot corner now that Avante Maddox is there. Josiah Scott, they had uh, Chauncey Gardner and Epps even playing a little bit of that position at times, but nothing really stuck, and they were getting big third downs. And then, I mean, the rush defense, you, you can talk about it, but, I mean, they're banged up up front with Jordan Davis. I mean, we're... Two more weeks. Uh, the good sign is I saw on their Snapchat, uh, he was at that like Campbell's uh, food bank thing last night. And he was walking around. I didn't see a boot. I mean, and we'll have to see. Signed but a big dude today. You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's been two weeks. I I don't want to chalk it all up to Jordan Davis. I mean, no. Like, I, I mean, let's let's be real. I mean, we came out looking rusty. Okay, I, we weren't. Is, we I weren't, don't know. We I weren't know. clipping. We got that gift early on, but. I mean, we looked like a team who hadn't played a game in, you know, Yeah, but the days, thing is, I disagree man. with I mean, that. I disagree with that. I don't. Because I disagree with that. Because I but Passes you, were behind people. Yeah, I know. But I remember at one point in the game, he looked at me and said, the offense isn't good. And they scored on all the drives that they had the ball when he said they weren't looking good. And I mean, I agree. <laughs> I don't think the offense looked great. But I mean, 
at the end of the day, I don't think they looked rusty. I just think they got sloppy. I'm not going to, we can talk about the refs all we want, but I mean, this is the thing. I, I don't think the defense played well. Don't get me wrong. They have, they have a lot to blame on this. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not jumping on the Gannon narrative that everyone wants to jump on. Um, I'm not even listening to sports radio because that's all that people are talking about. Well, I really think, though, I mean, you know, he he did play some zone when when I don't think he needed to play zone. No, I agree. I you don't know, think he and I'm not called a great game, fire the guy, but it's been I mean, so we've we've had eight games. You maybe heard about Gannon week one against the Lions when yeah. they wasn't great. Yeah, I haven't heard since a single then, thing correct. since then until this correct. week. And, you know, we were going, you know, you made an interesting point that. When the defense needed to get off the field, exactly. they did. I was just about to bring this up. I mean, I get the Goddard thing. You, you can count it. You can count it. At the end of the day, it's a turnover. It's crap, but it is what it is. But the defense gave them th – the, the g defense gave the offense three chances to put a drive together. I get they did not play good, and they do not deserve to be off the hook. But it was a two-point game. The Goddard fumble happened, unfortunately. But they held, kept it five. And then you had the deep ball to Quez. Unfortunately, he fumbled. And then they got the interception by Chauncey Gardner to give them the ball back again. And then they go three and out. Yeah. I mean, it was like eight minutes left in the game. And they had three drives within those eight minutes to go down and score. And they didn't. And I get, you turn the ball over, that's not going to happen. They got it one you can count as it is, but... You go three and out. I mean, I agree. The offense didn't I, look great. I felt like the offense got a little pass happy again. Like, like we forgot about running the ball. I agree. And and we got pass happy and we got like greedy. Like, let's go out and score right away. You know, we got that first one and then let's go get some more. And and we took like that shot to to AJ. That was a greedy shot. I mean, we didn't need to take No, that I agree. Shot. I mean, I don't know where to... Because, like, if you watch it, it was a good throw. AJ could have came down with it. But I agree. At Sitting there watching it, and it was like, that wasn't really the right play. Double I, coverage. I mean, I, I don't know. It was a good throw. It was good everything. I agree. But we got running backs, man. You saw what Washington did. They laid the blueprint for everybody now. I mean, they're going to just slow down the game take over time and possession, and try to beat us that way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to overreact too much because it's it's one game. I mean, they're 8-1. and one. I mean, I just think it's the way they lost well, that I has a people, lot, a lot I, of I people in lot, arms. I think a lot comes down to, you know, as we found out, the, the, the undefeated thing was a lot of added pressure to these Apparently, guys. Apparently, yeah. They talked about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What comes down to is how we bounce back this week. Like, if we show up and have a stinker this week, yeah, I know, then there's a problem. Well, then we can talk about this because uh, this team's banged up all of a sudden. I mean, Goddard's out for four weeks now. AJ and Devontae are both questionable this week. Apparently, a D uh, Devontae has something with his knee. Obviously, AJ had the ankle in, like, the first play of the game. Um I mean, if those guys aren't playing, it's going to be a long day for the offense. I know Jalen Hurts has been playing really well, and I'm not knocking anything he's done. But, I mean, he's got to take his game to, like, another level now if he's going to be missing guys. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to really have to prove that what you're doing right now is not just because of the weapons. You're, you can do that with guys that aren't going to be out there. Because at the tight end position, I mean, Goddard has been a kind of a security blanket type of guy. Uh, he's always been open, can be one of those guys you can feed, and, He's going to be a big piece of this offense that is missing for four weeks, unfortunately. You know, I feel like that loss was a wake-up call that we needed, you know. Like my, man, like my man Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face. Well, we need to get punched in the face, you know. And, and now, like, like Jalen said post-game, you know, you need to come in, pay a little bit more attention to detail, do your work, be ready to play, and, and take care of business on game day. But I, I don't know. I just, to me, I don't feel like it's not that they didn't show up. I just think it just wasn't their day. I mean, I, I feel like it was a combination of things. All the good things happened for Washington, but there were things that I feel like we left out there. Well, I mean, you can't that, turn that, the ball over that four that times. Us, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean ball security was big all season. Yeah. We had four turnovers. 
I mean, that's going to hurt you. You're not going to win many games. You're going to lose games. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Uh, I mean, you're giving, you're giving extra chances. Those are going to bite you. I mean, I, the main thing is I don't know what you're going to do uh, run defense wise. I mean, Jordan Davis, hopefully back in maybe three weeks. I mean, I know you signed uh, Laval jo uh, Joseph uh, most recently with the Vikings. I don't know what you're really going to get out of the guy, but. Guy looks like a big boy to me. He's a big boy. He is 100%. Pops him in there for maybe 12 plays, you know. Hey. Clog up that middle. You know, um, you definitely can't have Fletch out there for 70 snaps. I mean, well, I mean, that's I don't what mean, he played this week. Yeah, like, I know, but he looked, that's crazy. He looked and cooked he, like and he looks play cooked, five. You know? I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I think the interior guys, uh, I mean, we've been talking about Fletch for a while, that he's not the guy that he used to be. I, I, mean, feel, I, I feel like we stopped the run before we had Jordan Davis. I well, mean, the thing is, I think mostly thing about Jordan I Davis. think mostly with stopping the run is, like, really, I mean, there wasn't, their biggest run was maybe, what, six yards the whole game? It's not like they yeah. busted open big runs. It was just like, they would stop them, and then they would push the pile for two more yards. Yeah, they couldn't I mean, they tackle were, they the dude. Were just they couldn't bring them down. Three yards. Four yards. Yeah. Third down and two. You know, yeah, third down and three. I, I mean, mean, that's the big thing. And we they were picking them up. I mean, they had, what, 27? Third down. Third yeah, down. but they converted like 12 or yeah, something. Yeah, they converted 12 of those. Um, and, you know, and, and we, we talk about, you You touched on a little bit. Slay didn't look like normal Slay. Yeah. Right? I mean, McLaren's good, but, geez, I mean. I mean, he's good. You think he's a bum, but he's I, good. I don't think he's that great. He's good. But, <laughs> you Scary know, Terry's a good I player. I don't know. He's a good boy. He's the only. He's the only he wide receiver. Scare me. He's the only wide receiver this year to have 100 made, yards on the Eagles twice. Yeah, he's the only him, wide receiver. We made Justin him, Jefferson. We made no. him look really good. I no, think. John Scary Terry's way better than you think. But I mean, I don't know. I told I told him last week. I knew Heineke was going to be a little bit of an issue. But I think I knew we this game was going to be a little. Hands. We didn't pressure him. We didn't. Dude, they just we didn't get home. Blitz him. Okay. We didn't. Even, you know, we played that stupid zone yeah. where we just sat back and McLaren just ate us up because they knew yeah. exactly who was going to cover him and where he was going to be open. I mean, third down and 17, McLaren. Third down, Seven. 45, McLaren. I mean, yeah, I know. don't know. I mean, I don't know. This is the, like, I don't know. This is like the overreaction stuff. I just, like, feel like people need to relax somehow. I think everybody started believing in the 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 talk you know everybody I, started feeling I themselves disagree. and the thing and is like, i disagree now, i don't let's show back up get back to work i mean i don't think the colts i don't think the colts are good but i mean jonathan taylor could be a huge issue a huge the, issue the thing with them though is they only got him right Dude, I, mean, I don't want to hear washington about the had two don't tell me that Matt washington Ryan's had throw two them. they had gibson and robinson right. okay so Gibson's i mean he's a bum yeah, but he was still clipping three, four yards of pop. Dude, it's just like well. us. They a good a good O line, and you didn't get anything. Well, Kenny G, Boston Scott, I love those guys, but they're not good. I'm just saying, Ryan does not have escapability. I, I didn't think, run. I think we're gonna get to him. Yeah, but the trick was, Heineke was getting rid of the ball quick. Yeah. Matt Ryan is more like a wince statue hold it hold yeah, it mean, hold it we're i think we're gonna <clears throat> sack him at least five six times i mean i have faith in them to bounce back i think it's gonna be uh, the, it scares me though because it's from boy time, how you know? much confidence i had in this team it is like oh boy yikes uh, not that i i'm not jumping off the cliff yet. no i'm not jumping know, off the I mean, cliff it's, either it's but like, i mean some of these games are all of a sudden like we a were not gonna hard. go 17 and 0 even no, though I agree we wanted with that. to i agree i agree, to I agree they weren't gonna we go we weren't gonna do it better we did it now even though i hate that we lost to washington I, I mean, just think the thing is now you put more pressure on yourself because I, I mean the Vikings are tied now. I know you have the tiebreaker, but you well, got to keep winning. I think we're all Cowboy fans this weekend, right? Cowboys are, like, are we though? Yeah, we need them to win. That'll beat. They're playing. Minnesota. Yeah, I know, but then they're back. The division's not like it's they over. They got three losses. I mean, they'll be seven and three. It's not like the division's over. I'm not saying it is, but we need know. people to beat the Vikings so we can keep rolling here with that one seed. Because we don't want to go to Minnesota. I think we need to worry about ourselves and other people oh, yeah. right well, now. Well, I think we take care of 
each week, right? It, oh, I what know. Did, I what know. did Saucy always say? It's oh, yeah, a it's 17 round, yeah. round It's round 11 or fight, whatever it is this right? week. So we got to get back up. We got knocked down last week, and we got to get back up off the canvas and, and come back out, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I am confident in them to bounce back this week. It just scares me kind of what who they're going to have. Like, I, I expect AJ and Devontae to go, but... I mean, banged up. I mean, AJ obviously wasn't himself. He was a little banged up. Uh, I didn't know. I don't really know the extent of what's going on with Devonte. I mean, I have total faith those guys will show up. They well, I think they'll out. show up. I and, and, and I, I think we go out to Indy and take care of business. I mean, I mean, they struggled to beat the Raiders, who are a dumpster fire. You know, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, don't see it. Uh, not to be your link. But I didn't negative, see but. Washington coming to the link and beating us either. So just to put that into perspective. You know, we talked about how the link was getting back to, you know, definitely a home field advantage and a place you don't want to come to. And then we uh, kind of clunked it. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, they got they got bounced back this week. I know you lost, they'd still be 8-2, but I think the panic sets in if they lose this week. We good. Don't hit the panic button just yet. No, I agree. I'm not hitting the panic button yet, but we'll see how they bounce back this week. I think it's going to be a, a tight game again, sadly. Yeah, I don't see a um, tight game. I think they're going to play. I don't think they're good, but I think they're going to have a lot of energy. I think it's going to be very similar to the Lions game week one because they're going to have a lot of energy coming off that win and coming home with Jeff Saturday. Not that I think they're good, but I think they're going to have a lot of energy. So yeah, We're knocking him back into Saturday. Well, we'll have to see what happens. But as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back next Wednesday, as always, to talk about what happens. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Flag, you'll fly. Go, Bird.